Hi all, in this video, let's see how to deploy our React.js application on Net Netlify. Okay, so first thing is like, I've just created this project. This is the React uh, create app project. So you can deploy any of your React project, any of the React boilerplate project. So now, once I have created this project, so you need to push this project to your GitHub. Okay, it's not just GitHub, you can push this to any of your repos. Like it can be a GitHub, Git repo, uh, Git, Git labs and Bitbucket, any of the repos you can push. So once you push your code base to here, and next what you need to do is you need to go to the Netlify, up, like uh, let me go from the beginning. So just search this in the Google Netlify. So you click the first link, you'll be getting here. Okay, if you want to log in, if you want to sign up, sign up. What I do is like I will log in with the GitHub account. I will not sign up here. You can also do the same. You can log in and you can choose any of these domains to log in into the Netlify. Okay, I'm choosing the GitHub. So once you log in through GitHub, it will have it will ask you for the authorization. You need to give the authorization. So as I've already given the authorization, it is directly going there. It will ask for the authorization. So you need to give the authorization. Once you are here, the next what you need to do is you need to come here. You'll be in the dashboard. So he, here you need to add a new site and you need to import an existing project because already you have a React project, right? So now you need to click this. Now, once you say, I want to import an existing project, it will again ask from where, okay? Now, I, in this case, I'm going with the GitHub. I will click the GitHub. Now, again, we need to authorize it, like it will be authorized. And now it will list all the projects which are available for our domain. Like, see, all these are the available projects, but to this project, we want to check. So here, search for the project which you want to deploy. So now I'm searching for the deploy. Okay, this is a project I want to deploy in the native live. So now I click this. Okay, now what happens is it is trying to load which branch from which branch I want to take the code. So give whatever the branch you have. In this case, I have only master. So if you have development branch, release branches, you can give the respective branches here. So now I'm selecting the master branch here. So thereafter, leave the other uh, things like this only. So npm run build is a command where you want to build your application. Okay. And now build is a published directory. So once you do npm run build, you'll be getting a build folder or a dist folder. That folder should be mentioned here. So once you do this, just click deploy the site. So once you click this, the application will be deployed. So let's see. So that's simple it is. So it, it is still in progress. You can see it is deploying. So once it is deployed, it will be giving you a link where it was deployed. Okay. See here still it is deploying. So once it is deployed, okay, if you have a custom domain, the second step you can give that to as a custom domain. Okay, not just the link what they have given for us. You can give the custom domain which you have. Okay. And also the third step would be setting up the HTTPS. Okay. So these are the other steps where you can do. But deploying, see your site is deployed and they will be giving a site like this. So just copy this or click this. It will be open in a new link. Okay, this is what the application. So this is how you can deploy your React application into Netlify. So this is how. So second and third step, if you have a custom domain, you can link that custom domain to your domain so that you will be getting a meaningful and uh, the, your domain, your own domain you will be getting for your React application. And thereafter, you can give secure your site by providing the HTTPS as well. So this is the simple steps where you can deploy your React application. And I hope you understand the video. Thanks for Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.